So I do a little roundup of today. Yeah, I met up with my friend Sonam and we went to an exhibition. It's like an audio interactive experience. It was an immersive experience. And sorry if you can hear Joe in the background, he's playing the wall with his friends. Um, but I just thought I'd open up my parcel that I got today from Japan. And I know what it is, because uh, yeah, my dad sent it to me. <laughs> and it's this all package but I just thought I'd share it with you guys. How cute are the illustrations on this box? I love rice as well as I love noodles and I love furikake. Honestly, furikake on anything even pasta, bread, wraps. <laughs> so yeah, my dad sent me some pretty here. This one's probably for Joe. <laughs> oh my god, love a for Joe would love this one. Obviously egg, cannibal. Also, I really like Ochazuke. I love Okayu, Ochazuke. Anything like rice porridge. Although I don't actually like English rice porridge. Yum. Love that dad gave me three packets of the egg pretty good. It's Joe and I love egg. <gasps> She's so the brand selection. Which one is this? The kimchi one. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. You have to go first. You can go first. going on here. Soft? Yeah, good bread.
<laughs> Joe's lacking energy. <laughs> yeah, I feel really like. <sighs> I don't know why. We thought we'd vlog for you, but I don't think today's the day, so. Yeah, I've just. Uh come to realize over the last like couple of years or so if I'm not feeling the energy in my face and just in my voice and everything video always flops yeah. um, it just never never projects into the microphone into the camera and so I'm just like nah this isn't worth editing yeah so I need to perk up I think another coffee is needed but we are also going to the cinema. I'm going to go and watch The Matrix. We actually went to the cinema last night and watched Nightmare Alley, which was great. Yeah, that was very good. Yeah, we gave it a four out of five. Um, yeah. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Sixteen out of twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-two out of fifty. <laughs> but yeah, it was um, pretty good. And yeah, now we're going to go see The Matrix because I don't think it'll be on any longer because it's been out for quite a while. Another coffee until Tottenham Court Road. Yeah. You can hear me through the rain though. We're here, we made it. It is wet, <laughs> really wet. So Ellie, what film were we seeing on Thursday? <laughs> Drive my car. And why are we seeing it on Thursday, Ellie? <laughs> I put the wrong one. <laughs> what day is it today, Ellie? <laughs> it's Sunday. There's a Japanese director who's been nominated for an Oscar and uh, Ellie was like, oh, we should go see his film. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're seeing his old film first. <laughs> Well, it's an introduction, but I also do blame the, you know, the user experience on the website too, because it is a bit weird. It's a crap website. Yeah, there's like no buttons. It's it's like one of those where you hover and then it changes colour and then it's like not really a button. Yeah. It's, it's very confusing. It's very typical, like, mid-2010s design. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, just anyway, it's at the ICA, yeah. the uh, Institute of Contemporary Arts. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. No, we have our snacks. We've got to go because there's no ads. Yeah. So. We need so to the go. film we're seeing is called <laughs> Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy. Yeah. Fantasy. Yeah. just editing uh, the vlog and didn't really want to end it like that so we ended up watching Wheel of Fortune and Fantasy which I thought was actually surprisingly good it was like three short stories um, into one film so there were three parts and yeah I thought it was really interesting um, literally didn't even know what it was about or I looked into the trailer because I bet the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, and then we watched Drive My Car, which was also really good. You can see why it was nominated for, I think it's nominated for the best picture. It's nominated for quite a lot of things, actually. Pretty proud that a Japanese movie um, director were nominated for the Oscars. So it's been a very Japanese week for me. Uh, watched two Japanese films, and I was also watching Love is Blind Japan. I'm never really drawn to Japanese movies or TV shows, but sometimes I feel like I should remind myself to put things on um, in Japanese just so I get used to hearing it because I don't really have Japanese friends in London um, and I only really talk Japanese to my family, so sometimes it's really bad. My parents correct me all the time. I don't know if you guys can relate um, when you're watching a foreign film in a different language um, but you also kind of half understand it so it takes me a while to either read the subtitles or listen to the what they're saying but sometimes the subtitles doesn't really translate to what they're saying so it takes me a while to get into it and it's kind of what happened with drive my car it's like I didn't know which one I was following um, and it made me miss Japan quite a lot this week so yeah still hoping to go there but fingers crossed hopefully it'll be soon that we get to go over it's been a good week for a lot of tv and films um inspired us to think of more shots and it's just nice to see nice shots of japan i'm just uh having a quiet weekend and just catching up on some work i hope you guys are having a good weekend or had a good weekend whenever you're watching this. We had a pretty big storm yesterday. It was pretty noisy here. Um, but I hope everyone is safe and well. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.